hey guys how are you guys doing today it's a beautiful weekend hope you guys are good thank you so much for tuning in so beautiful people i'm back again with another video in this video i want to prepare a, a native soup you know we have different kinds of native soup so this is one of the native soup we have in river state equally local government to be precise so these are the things i'm using to prepare it I have my melon seed here this is hound peel melon and I have my crayfish dried pepper dried grinded pepper salt and seasoning cube here is my onions I've used some for the protein here is um, removed periwinkle extracted periwinkle so here is my red oil and here this is upo what do you call it in your village or in your place is and that black when you are, when it's not grinded is in a black form you have to boil remove and and grind before you now get it in this powdered form if you are from eastern part of nigeria you understand what I'm talking about this is called Ubo. let me know in the comment section what do you call it in your own local dialect so this is the fish I'm using already washed and deboned and in here ha, these are our proteins I've already added pepper salt seasoning cube onions what I have here is just a um, stuffed fish oboroko, and snail that's just what I'm going to use. No meat today. It's a meatless soup. Then with that fish over there. So lovely people, I'm going to start by grinding the melon seed. So I'm going to chamfer it here into the grinder grinder cup. Before I forget, let me show you guys. Here, I know you've been wondering what kind of leaf I'm going to use for the soup. This is it. <laughs> it's a native soup, so we are using native. <laughs> this is Okazi. Native Okazi. You know, I don't know what do you call it in your place. It's a popular afang leaf. But we call it okazi in my own dialect. So that's what we are using as the leaf. So guys, let's get started. Okay. So I'm going to cook my snail and stockfish. Remember I've added seasoning, salt, pepper and onions. So I'm going to cook it until it's done. Then I'll be right back. Okay. So our protein is cooking to another part of the cooker. If I can use this pot to start the cooking proper. Okay. So we are done with cooking our protein. Don't mind my mouth. I'm eating granite. So the pot is.
some people when cooking this soup, they don't normally fry the melon. You know, they just cook it the normal way, but I'm using the fry method because my husband, man, if he eats melon soup that is not fried, it disturbs his stomach. It upsets his stomach. So that's why I'm doing this fry method. If not, in this our native soup, it's not necessary to fry. Fry it, fry the lemon, uh, melon. So that's why I'm using this fry method. Why I'm saying this is so that any of my Korean people that is watching this video will not say, What's this woman lazy? So I'm going to allow the melon to fry for some time. I want to add water. Korean can also go. For me, for this particular soup, I'm using this water. So I'm going to transfer it into the pot. You know why I adding this? You need to be careful. It can be ticking. It thickens fast. Sorry, it thickens fast. So you don't really need to add plenty. I'm going to stir it together with the melon. Mm. I like my food spicy as I'm adding a whole lot of pepper, add salt. Seasoning cube. Then I'm going to transfer my protein. Let me get a bigger spoon. Here. We still have one other thing left. Our fish already deboned, washed and deboned already. So I'm going to cover this and allow it to cook until it thickens. I'll be right back. Oh, you're 
Oh, you chickens, if you hook all this place.